aqui. First of all, you gotta stay relaxed. Yeah. You jerk off. You fucking kidding me? Tell me that fucking rock cock sucking Hudson bullshit. Say it for me one time. I ain't no faggot, motherfucker. I don't even know no fucking faggot. Look at me. What do you see? Huh? The goddamn rodeo's what you see. Call me a motherfucking faggot. I'll whip your fucking ass, boy. You just gotta keep living, man. L-I-V-I-N. Now you're talking. Yeah, all those things, that's what feeds the juices up here in my nugget, man. Through my loins, up the Autobahn, my spirit and mind, man. I, I'm, 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 I'm moist right now. I'm lubricated. Someone once told me time is a flat circle in this universe. And we process time linearly forward. But outside of our space-time, from what would be a fourth-dimensional perspective, time wouldn't exist. And from that vantage, could we attain it? We see our space-time look flattened, like a single sculpture of matter and superposition every place it ever occupied. Our sentience just cycling through our lives like carts on a track. See, everything outside our dimension, that's eternity. Eternity looking down on us. Now to us, it's a sphere, but to them, it's a circle. I watched that um, Dallas Buyers, Buyers Club clip like 15 times yesterday. Yeah, I got into. Uh, I started making that. I was like, I I got real into like Wood or um, True Detective season one. Yeah, that w that was some mind blowing TV. That might be one of my favorite series of all time. Yeah, I had to put uh, Time as a Flat Circle out there. Yeah. In case anybody doesn't know what the hell I'm talking about. Yeah, dude. <laughs> That that whole season blew my mind. Like when they were in the projects projects and shit, like my my heart rate was probably in like the one twenty range. Yeah, I'm trying to think. There's a there's a bunch of movies that do that, like um Fury. I'm trying to there's there's one movie I'm trying to think of that I saw recently. But they do that like solid scene, no cuts. That's a big Oh uh, yeah, you were literally just telling yeah, me. Yeah, just about telling that. you about it. Yeah, I can't remember. Nineteen seventeen. I'm brain dead. No, not that one. Oh. No, I'm talking about something else. Yeah, but uh, another week in the bags. It is what it is, dude. We got the cobblestones almost finished. Oh, yeah, that's little, going pretty good. Little colorful pebbles. Yesterday you informed me about your childhood. Some of the funniest shit I've ever heard in my life, dude. Dude, that's all day. <laughs> you really want me to do, do that on here? <laughs> I mean, I just like the stories. 
I, what, what were you saying when you said, I mean, dude, you don't even want to hear about when I first started getting boners? I mean, it's just like, you know, <laughs> I was telling you stories. You're laughing about it. I was like, this is all pre, prepubescent stories. They're hilarious. I, I can't imagine. Until ima- I started getting awkward with my own boner. <laughs> I can't imagine what that was like because I have no idea what it would be like to be figuring out all this shit solo. Yeah. Since you're the oldest one. Totally solo. Not even related to anybody around me. There was you didn't even have any cousins that were like I don't have anyone related. And it's hard to explain, but when you're adopted, like you realize like no one is the same as you. I'm sure like you're not like your brothers, but yeah, yeah. from an outsider, you're so much like your brothers. Yeah, obviously. When you are it, it was me and a Korean chick forever, and then Tim was born. The ultimate confusion. Yeah, so I mean the confusion and then you're I, I'm sitting there looking at my parents, like they're not really my parents. I mean they're my parents, but yeah. they're, they're not I'm not like them. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, so there's like a world of confusion. There's, you know, land of confusion. Yeah. I, I literally wouldn't know how to even begin to fathom what the fuck's going on with me if I was just solo going through this alone. Yeah. You said something to me yesterday. You're like, oh, when I was telling you, like, I got in trouble and you're like, and I was like, yeah, dude, I just immediately started crying. And you're like, oh, dude, you didn't have brothers. It's like, that has nothing to do with it. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. It's just like a personality thing. I mean, <laughs> you're, you're too people cr- with brothers cry when they get oh, in trouble. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, that shit was insane. Like the the level at which you're operating on is like wild, wild west cowboy shit. You're feral. <laughs> you are totally feral. I'll give you that. If you're like the first kid and you're all all alone, you're just wild. Yeah, that that you're was no, some... no tips. You got nothing coming from anybody. <laughs> you're fried. You're fucking retarded. Yeah, the, the shit. You wake up every day like you're just you're an animal. <laughs> and you look around, and you just go, "Oh yeah, I'm doing this again." Yeah, and then out of nowhere, you just start fucking beating off. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> your boner just gets too much. <laughs> yeah, that that shit. Especially now, wh- I don't play with myself because you're the no blood cat. the blood that was spilled on the Shenandoah Valley. What do you mean? The fact that you play with yourself like a fucking child, dude. When there was a civil war fought on this goddamn ground, this whole country's hallowed earth, dude. So the you, blood, they the, you the, stop the, beating the, off because of the civil war. Yes, dude. Why? Because of Stonewall fucking Jackson. Does he not beat off or something? Or are you just doing this you out of respect? They were jerking off in the civil war, man. Could have been. I mean, pussies that died, baby, by minute balls. <laughs> You're all fucking civil mini balls right all over now. their heads. Yeah, that that's another thing that's kind of in the same line of growing up without like anyone showing you anything. Like when you were explaining to me those dudes getting hit by exploding artillery, it's like Jesus Christ! Like that is like fighting aliens with that shit coming at you. That that was a new uh, new technology in the war. <laughs> Fuck. They that. hit they hit a war. It seems like every time there's like real new tech, there's a war. Yeah. It's almost like people want to show it off or practice it. Or buy or or sell it. it. Or sell it. Yeah. Something weird. Yeah, that's... It's It's really like bioweapons and stuff. Yeah, I mean, come on now. (laughs) How how was the whole, like, eating setup when you were out yesterday? Um, Like, when you guys finally got the seat, like, was it weird or... Yeah, so yesterday I was looking at houses with Billy's brother, and we went to a restaurant. I went to a restaurant for the first time. That was and the first time? That was the first time. I went to, like, a, a neighborhood bar once. Yeah. But this is the first time I went to, like, a real restaurant where they give you – they read you, like, a thing before you go in. Like, you have only have 90 minutes. That's it, crazy. I didn't it, know that. It's 20% extra. 20% extra what? It's 20% extra money to eat now. So they add on 20% as Why? a service fee for the putting the people in danger. Right. And you have to wear a mask while you're going to and fro – your table yeah and yeah you, you, no, only 90 minutes can't just get alcohol you have to order food that's fucking insane when i went to murph's my buddy already sat down so i just scurried over to the table and sat down everything was fine but it is weird how it's like i'll fucking scan this it's i like, don't know fish town's weird man it's a real you know that's like disneyland for me yeah you, you're used to the jamaican jerk huts <laughs> I don't, yeah, I don't go out to eat. I mean, my lunch truck's back, so fuck yourself. It, yeah, I mean, Yuki's yeah. back, shout out Yuki. <laughs> yeah, it, it is fucking just wild. With the girls that were out, I mean, good God. It hurts you. It hurts me when I'm sitting there. The Civil War keeps you clean. Anytime you want to sit there. How many you, days are you? And you think, five? You think you got it. You look it. bloated. 
Nej, 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 That blood was spilt on this fucking ground, dude. Hey, I'm not, I'm not arguing with you. Le- I mean, last time you did this, like you you were like, achy. I got sick. Yeah, I got sick to my stomach. <laughs> I'm not feeling so good right now. I'm not gonna brag. I'm not, I'm not lying. I don't feel too right. It's not a brag. You said that I'm bloated and I don't feel good. Yeah, I'm kind of angry. <laughs> hey, you can call me this morning. You call me a pussy. Yeah, I'm fucking not feeling so. You're it an alpha. What, it is what it is, dude. But I mean, good God, listen, to, listen to some letters written home from. Some of these brigades, dude, yeah. to their bays, and then go see if you want to go play with yourself in your fucking room to your videos. I mean, you were, were those letters <laughs> were those letters going through your head when you saw the beautiful babies walking by you? No, I was yeah. fucked. I was frustrated. It's it is because I'm a I'm a hideous bloated creature, <laughs> and I know that they don't want me to even look at them, and I know when they see me, they think creep. <laughs> And I don't like it. <laughs> Dude. I hate myself. <laughs> the, the funniest. I want a Civil War, man. The Probably the most hideous looking creatures ever created was when me, you, and Matt were all painting together. And we all did no fap. And all three of us are sitting in your the front of your bench I was seat. Fa- I was fatted, too. <laughs> <laughs> we were driving around like, like, my balls hurt. I was like, I just want to jerk off. And Matt's like, dude, look at that chick. We were absolute goblins just rolling around. Every day, yeah. you'd just be like, my fucking balls hurt, dude. Yeah, but dude, like, no fap and all that weird shit. I think it's a psyop and all that. And, uh, I, you know, this isn't a taken away thing. This yeah. is doing this out of respect for who got us here, man. Yeah, I hear you. You definitely feel filthy after watching porn. Oh, man. You, they fucking fought and died <laughs> on this goddamn ground, dude. <laughs> and I'm going to open up tail plugs. Uh, why the fuck <laughs> do you have to name your fucking <laughs> subreddits, dude? Why do you have... Like, why are you... In the, whatever. <laughs> Whatever, you're not jerking off anymore, so it doesn't matter why you love tail plugs, you fucking weirdo. (laughs) Come on, man. Come on, man. (laughs) Will you shut up? You're a clown. (laughs) Yeah, it it is it is beneficial to like not always be thinking about porn, but you do get pretty fucking like wild after like day three. What do you mean? Like you're noticeably like kind of jammed after day three. Yeah, I'm jammed. I mean, dude, I was jerking off to like a, I was jerking off to a level that was, it's unnatural for my age. Yeah. So it's bordering on a psychological problem. Yeah, that's what I would say. So let's try to heal it. Let's try to heal, folks. Yeah. Read books about the Civil War if you're jerking off too much. Trust me, it'll stop you. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, you you definitely, uh, you're up there in the uh, brackets for... There was a guy that was ready to fucking pull the trigger on burning down Baltimore and Philadelphia, dude. The only reason that it didn't happen was because the Southern generals were pussies. They were too afraid, dude. Yeah. They're too afraid to go that ham. (laughs) But you know that's where it goes. You know that's where war goes. Stonewall (laughs) was flying the black flag from the gate. He was like, fuck it, let's go, burn it down. Yeah. Everyone thought he was nuts. What happened? Didn't he get killed? I don't know. I didn't finish the book yet. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm not a historian. <laughs> yeah, I don't even like thinking about that shit, dude. That is the most, like, the, just the smells involved in those situations are probably fucking heinous. Yeah, all the latrine digging and shit was wild. It's a cool-ass book. I'm reading a book called Rebel Yell. Billy's brother told me about it. It's fucking sick. Have you ever YouTube what it sounds like yet? No. Really? I'm saving it, dude. Damn, for the end? Hey, man. You gonna start doing it? The Rebel Yell? Yeah. If, I fi- if I figure it out, yeah, dude, obviously. <laughs> there was yeah. a civil war, I'd be definitely fucking from the South. It is what it is, dude. Yeah. You Fuck just the love federal free- government. You just love freedom, love freedom dude. dude. It's, it's about other things, like mainly about that taxation, all that weird stuff. The- I don't know. They don't go into that. And this this book's basically about Stonewall Jackson. It's just about this one dude. Yeah. He's fucking hilarious. Yeah, He's so, got autism. So far from so what you said. funny, dude. He literally is just Michael. It's the funniest shit. 
Yeah, I mean. Walking I, around, arms straight down, back straight up, tapping his thighs with his fingertips. Yeah. Dude, so fucking funny. The way he head walks. Down, h- head down with the hat down to his nose. If, he, if you want to get his attention and he's looking at you, he puts his chin up so he can see you. I mean, yeah. So fucking funny. He's autistic. Yeah, I love him, dude. <laughs> I mean, I, I wish would, they made an HBO series about these guys because I thought they were old as fuck. They're like 34, 27. Yeah, All the generals are like young as shit. That, yeah, that is nuts to think about how young those dudes were, and they were going in. Oh, yeah, they were fucking going. He said, give them the bayonets. Yeah. Didn't he want sticks? Yeah, he got pikes ordered. He, they ordered pikes, but they never got delivered. <laughs> yeah, that that is some um, dark shit once you start reading about it. It was like a half medieval, half World War One. Like, that's where they were. It was the 1850s, 1860s. Yeah. So, like, their weaponry was half the fucking olden days. And then the early days of, like, rifle bullets in guns. Jesus fuck. So they were, Christ. like, half and half. They didn't really know what to do. And they were, still, they were still doing that dumb shit, too, right? Where they would, like, line up. Yeah, because they were basing all, all those dudes went to West Point, and they learned off of Napoleon's Wars. Jesus So, like, all Christ. Napoleon's Wars, the bullets are real inaccurate. Yeah. And then, so they're... That's he, why the body count's so fucking high. <laughs> and then the Civil War comes around, and, like, now all of a sudden you can really fuck. The North had the good guns. The South had the old Napoleon guns. Yeah. And the uh, North could just fucking mow you down. No, North was wrong with Oh, it was wild assist. shit, dude. It was wild shit. Yeah, that, that was a lot of fucking bodies. Oh, yeah. It's nuts. Like, yeah. 32,000 people would die in a battle. Yeah. That's just Here all, in the U.S. That's just all the And disease. you'll still jerk off. Hey. I don't, still jerk off, Not dude. the porn. Not the porn. I'm clean right now. We live in fucking cutie land, and these guys fought a goddamn war. You should just become a reenactor. I pay, thought pay about the it last most week. Respect. I thought about this week. Go to the fucking radio. I'd become a reenactor. You fit hey, man, the bill. If I, I, for real, first of all, I'm five six, and I always have diarrhea. That's pretty much the whole civil war. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, we are standing on the shoulders of five six giants who fucking got us here, dude. Yeah. That was that was troubling though. How um, into height you're saying this dude is? Nah, he's just like reading the stats of the generals, so you get a good description. I was okay. just fucking with you. This is like a bit I was doing with you on the phone, man. You were riffing. <laughs> yeah, just riffing the best of you, man. That. Yeah, it, it is wild though. Nothing but short kings just going the fuck. All in. short kings, dude. All grew up fucking working all day. Yeah. None of this gay shit. I'm yeah. just watching fucking retarded movies like I do. I'm soft as fuck. I'm a faggot. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, these guys were men. I mean, Writing the- letters home to Bay. They had bays. This is how you get a bay. Get in Civil War mode. <laughs> I mean, right now, you're in the mode. I'm in Civil War mode, dude. <laughs> you're in the South just because of, like, random You want shit. me to talk about when I was a little kid, jumping up and down, being a fucking weirdo, <laughs> and goofing off. And if someone had pulled me aside when I was a kid and was like, dude, knock off your weird shit. They fought a goddamn war here. I don't know? think you would have. I'm just saying it should be taught every day. Every day we should have to pay respects to these guys. I mean, <laughs> you jam me up so hard with those stories because <laughs> that that's what I like. The main reason I was thinking about you having no one else is the fact that you got caught jumping up and down on the bed, butt ass naked. The whole school bus knew. Everybody knew. Yeah. I, I, I thought I had a little funny story for you because I went on the bus my first fucking year at St. Thomas. A kid's grandfather, or a kid on the bus, his grandfather gave birth to me. That kid told me that his grandfather saw me naked. I fought back tears the whole way to fucking St. Thomas. Dude, yeah, was, that's it, soft, dude. I was that's fucking soft. soft. Everyone saw you dancing naked Everyone on the bed. Everyone saw me jumping up and down naked on my bed because I didn't know that when the lights are on in my room and it's nighttime outside, <laughs> that everyone that's outside <laughs> playing manhunt can see me. And I got out from the shower and I put on a bit of a show. <laughs> And the bus used to come into our neighborhood. You're and like one of those girls in Amsterdam. And everybody's laughing, and I didn't know that everyone was laughing at me, so I started laughing a little bit too. I'm like, oh, this is great. What are we all laughing about? We're having a good time. Second grade. And then, the, and then two girls said, Andrew, do you know how lights work? And then they told me my penis was small. In front of everybody. In front of everybody. How old were these girls? My age. And they told you your dick was small? Like second grade, dude. Fuck. But you think you're fucking, you're talking, dude, you're mean girls. <laughs> the only thing I could think about is the fact that your girlfriend broke up with you because your second grade dick was small and her new boyfriend <laughs> punched your dick asking where it was. Yeah, dude. That's the most troubling shit in the world. That's how I create this monster. <laughs> 
I mean, my, my grade school wasn't that vicious. Like, I went to the same grade school as you, but, like, when we got there, like, that shit was not going on. Nah, it's, I think it's just um, whoever you get. There were grades. There were – there were um, we weren't that bad. There were grades ahead of us that we, like, heard about that were, like, bad kids. Really? Oh, yeah. They were, like, legit bad kids before us. Yeah, there was none of that. Well, you guys were richer. Yeah, as soon yeah. as like the rich kids came, that probably all got phased out. But like when we were when we were kids, we would hear about the people that were like four or five years older than us doing wild shit, dude. Your prayer partners? No, we. I don't remember them. I don't remember much. Yeah, I mean, I just remember like traumatic shit like that of yeah, everybody laughing at me type shit. <laughs> Those feelings are the fucking worst. Like, and anytime I got in trouble, I'll remember that. I remember yeah. that whole shit because it's like the heat that that happens yeah. in your body, dude. I got fucking all right, man. I told you a bunch of that. I told you a bunch of stories on the phone. I probably have told you this before, but I didn't tell you this the other day. Is when, well, when we were kids, we wore Catholic school uniforms. Yeah. And by the time you came around, you showed up to school in your gym clothes. On gym day. On gym day, but we didn't do that. We changed in the in the gym. Really? So we would go down to the gym, and the girls would go into the girls' bathroom and change, and oh, the boys okay. would change in the... That was the smallest bathroom of all time. And the too. boys would change in the gym. And you know my problems with homework. You yeah. know my, my situation with my fucking head is not right. I'm not yeah. that smart. Yeah. Um, I, forgot to, I forgot to bring my clothes for gym. <laughs> But instead, but I get all excited too. So I'm down there and it's gym time. And like, I'm talk, I'm excited that it's gym. Just like a normal day. I'm like, oh, fuck it, it's gym day. And everybody's getting changed. And I, instead of me getting like worrying about getting dressed, I get, I'm getting undressed and I'm talking to everybody like I'm talking to you now, like all jazzed oh, up and pumped fuck, up. Dude. And I take off all my clothes, but then I don't know where my clothes are. And I'm walking around and I'm like, where the fuck are my gym clothes? That's a bad dream. But I just forgot to bring them. No, nah, this is real life. Yeah. I forgot to bring them to school. And then all the girls came in. Oh and I had, and I ju- this is fourth grade and I had this is fourth grade and I had tidy whities on. And everybody was pointing and laughing at me. And <laughs> dude, and I couldn't figure out what was going on because I was still frantically just looking for my clothes at this point. And all the girls are there, and obviously, again, look at his peen. And <laughs> then I ended up, like, I can't remember. I remember my mom came in, like, by the time my, she got there with my clothes, like, Jim was over, and I was, like, crying outside the fucking principal's <laughs> office. I mean, dude, that is insane. Yeah, I took some heavy hits, like, the all of school. The fact that didn't shoot up St. Thomas is, insa- is like, impressive. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying, like, man. The torture all... you got on your peen alone is insane. Yeah, I took some. I took some heavy peen torture. <laughs> yeah, everyone sigh up, dude, to think you have a tiny dick. Even in high school, we played strip poker one time, and <laughs> I—that's what I'm saying, dude. Like, this, I can do this shit all day, dude. We guys listening. Me and Bill had a phone conversation. He's trying to recreate. It's not really working out, but get a load of this. I played strip poker. I thought I was the man. I immediately fucking lost. So everyone has their clothes on still. <laughs> there's like a couple of be- there's like a girl in her bra, that's about it. <laughs> and this girl I have a major crush on is here. Yeah. So we're we're at this girl's house. I won't name names. Um, but we're in her bedroom and I lose straight off the bat. And everyone's like, You're a bitch. Take off your underwear. You lost. You lost. I'm sixteen, dude. Oh my god. Yeah. I'm jammed that I'm not cirked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm jammed. I'm beyond jammed right now. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, dude, air conditioning's on in the room. It's cold, bro. <laughs> like, it is what it is. Fucking, I take off my underwear, and I quick grab, like, a um, pillow, and I'm trying to cover myself up. Yeah. And it's, like, this motion is, like, the worst for, like, your dick size. Obviously. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm like, smaller. Um, yeah, couldn't be smaller. Hunched over. Couldn't be smaller. Two girls called it a baby carrot, and I went oh. to school. And other people are calling me baby carrot at school for like a week. Oh my! That was hell. God, <laughs> that was worse. Yeah, I but I like shrimped myself up. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's the smallest your dick gets. Oh yeah, like hunched over. That was in, bad. in the jerk. That's when we first started uh, no fat. Like back then, 
that was the main thing that got me. Like someone had a post that was just like, imagine you looking at yourself with the glow of the monitor hunched over beating off to porn. I was like, dude, I just can't do this. Anymore. Now that person, imagine that person is a, is a brigadier general. Yeah. <laughs> we get it. We get it. <laughs> I'm just saying, dude. He might be the descendant of Stonewall, dude. Who knows? Fuck, dude. I love him. Yeah. I want HBO to make a mini series. Yeah, I mean that would be sick if they made a Band of Brothers. Type they can't thing. do because they can't make any. They can't humanize any of the Southern generals because of slavery. Or well, not right now. Yeah. Because the wokeness and all that. Yeah, I mean, it sh- they they should. They can't be have it. anything about the Civil War that's not going to pertain directly to the I slaves. Mean, you, you can't know even I mean? like make incels look okay. Yeah, like the first two years of the war don't have too much to do with it. Yeah. Yeah. Then that was a little Trojan horse. Well, that's what, dude, they had numbers. The North had numbers. Yeah. They, they had all the good old boys, dude. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The, uh, that, that shit was very phasing though, because right, right now I'm just, all I have is the Sopranos, because everything else, like, I try to watch other shit, and it's just like, it's out of control. Like, you you got to start reading books, man. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm going to have to do. Or get or into something else, like, that's not entertainment made for you. Yeah, like get into like looking into stuff or something. Yeah, that's I just have the guitar and that's about it. I'm just saying like documentaries and shit. There's a world of documentaries you've never seen. Yeah, that, that's what I'm gonna have to do because like you can't <clears throat> at this point the TV and stuff like that. Like all the shows, you just like it, everything is placed obviously. Like when you're saying you're watching the Idaho Paint or stuff, you can see it's all like ads. Like every show's ads the way people are acting is like uh yeah well it's like people will say that it's always been like that but it's never been like this yeah this is pretty in your face it's well it's not just product placement now it's product placement with a message yeah and it hits you emotionally because you you either believe one thing or the other thing yeah. so they're playing like a real weird like black and white thing like yes and no nothing is uh they don't let anything go in the gray area right now. Yeah. And then they also just confuse living hell out of you. <clears throat> with what? Just like with any like opinion you have, there's just a complete opposite. Like, this is why you're wrong. Especially this, like the way the shit we believe. Like everything you try to look into and you try to just have a conversation with someone about it. They immediately Google search like, yo, this is wrong. Look, it says it on CBS right here. Give me an example. You're losing Like me. Pizzagate, shit like that. Like whenever you're trying to tell someone yeah. about – like if someone's like going off about the coronavirus and say, yo, this is kind of stupid. And you're like, yeah, Bill Gates is evil. Check this out. They okay, just go, yeah. dude, obviously he's not evil. Look at this article. Okay, yeah. Like it ju- it's just fucking annoying at this point because there's so much fucking information out there that it's, it's like the hyper-normalization shit where like at this point you can't even have a conversation with someone. Just like a normal conversation to try to be like, hey, check this out because they fucking read. Yeah, it's not good. Uh, there's a there's a luxury to certain opinions that I'll say that is I find offensive. What do you mean? Like about the coronavirus. Yeah. And about with pretty much everything comes down to there's a there's a level at which you live life where you can sacrifice some kind of needs and shit. Uh huh. Or, like, I'm trying to, like, word this better. But, like, there's people out there that are, like, oh, yeah, obviously we we need to shut down the global economy because we don't know what this thing is. Yeah. And it's, like, okay, that makes no sense. (laughs) Okay? Yeah, that's what. And, like, that really makes no sense. And it's unprecedented because since when did anyone give a fuck about people getting – do you think this is the first time that there's been some weird disease, like, that has – like – the I'm government saying, used to spray Zyklone B on people. Well, DDT, but... Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, like, you're telling me, like, this shit doesn't pop up in India with all those fucking people living there, the superbugs that they, that uh, antibiotics can't defeat and all this shit, no one shut down the... That's terrifying. Yeah. Like, that's legit scary to me. Yeah. Those, remember when they were doing the superbug thing? Yes. It didn't catch on enough. Yeah, like this all, for some <clears throat> reason this is hitting different. They tied it to political shit and all this other stuff. Yeah, at, at this point, like I don't care who you know that died or anything, but like, wow, that's fucked up that you even said that. I'm just saying, like, if idiot. you just don't look at it from a emotional standpoint and see what happens, it almost looks like this is like a event 201 like practice run. No, it is. I mean, th- this is they did that event 201, and then they're like, all right, let's. 
Let's see if we can roll this out. Yeah. And they did one for anthrax. Because if the WHO numbers are like 780 million cases, a million deaths, it's like, dude, come on. Like, yeah. How, how are we trying to argue on the internet about this? The people that are arguing on the internet are doing a couple of things. To me, in my this is just from me, my opinion, yeah. is that they think that they're tying their education. That's and, what it is. And they're well, they're uh, they're like, I'm smarter than the person that yeah, doesn't believe like I was this. trained to research so I can look into this and figure this out. Yeah, but like here's one here's one thing that I screenshotted. Um Implications of high unemployment and continued lockdowns could have a de- devastating effect on health. For every 1% of increased unemployment, there's 2% increase of chronic illness. Yeah. And 34% of adults are feeling adverse mental health effects. Yeah. That, what, so it's the like unemployment rate and the suicide rate, they go up to get like when the unemployment rate goes up, suicide rate goes up. Yeah, dude. I mean, because <laughs> dudes tie their self-worth to how much money they make trust me i know i make no money yeah I'm a piece of shit dude that's like what... kill myself all the time i have no money i see everybody with money relative poverty is proven to be like one of the most disastrous things for your mental health yeah and when you tell everyone that they're dumb because they don't want that they like dude just fucking don't go don't go to work you're retarded it's like hey man some of us don't have a choice yeah and when you put that, when you put that, like, uh, when you put ethics behind that, yeah. you're you're making poor people do something wrong. Yes. To survive. Yeah, it's insane. It's fucking disgusting to me. That's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like it's disgusting. And yeah. then that's an emotion that I'm getting. So I'm I'm in that realm where I'm like, when I see people like making this crazy stand, I'm like, well, dude, it must be nice to be you, dude. Yeah. You know, like, I'm sure you were financially set, ready. You had all your paperwork together. Probably you would move back home if you wanted you to. You were totally ready for this pandemic, dude. But some people weren't. And, like, if it was real, I'd understand. Mm-hmm. But the, there's more adverse effects from the poverty yeah. and, and the economic shit. There's more health problems coming from the shutdown than there are from the virus. And that's a fact. Yeah. So you can't really argue that, man. You'd be like, oh, who died? Like, people died. It's like, people always die of sickness. But, you sound like me, like in March. <laughs> <laughs> no, nice try. This is, you, this is talking to you every day. Every day. My group chat. Uh, yeah. It's like, dude. It's I, All I'm saying is, if you sit here and tell me that it was actually worth shutting down the economy for yeah. this, that's you're a smoking crack. <laughs> you're out of your mind. But that's what I'm saying. All these people, when you're trying to argue that, they'll just go and cite all the top news companies that say it was. Yeah, but this top news companies, the other thing is that no one will admit that they're covering up fucking Obamagate. Oh, big time. So it's like the same guys that are lying to you that the dude that's running for president now tried to get rid of the fucking dude yeah. that is the president. Yeah. Imagine if that was happening in another country. Yeah, I mean, imagine that, if, like, that the seems former, like what goes on in, like, Nicaragua. Yeah, they're called banana republics. Like, yeah. it, imagine if, like, the vice president of another country was trying to oust was caught ousting the fucking current president and running against them at the same time with the backing of the media. That's a corporate fascist state. And you got his hands tied because he can't do anything. Like, he currently couldn't go and do this shit. You just want them to take the fucking cuffs off Trump, dude. Dude, (laughs) if he started, like, reading on Biden about all this shit, which he lightly does because that man can't help it. Oh, yeah. Like, it would look so bad. Like, like optics-wise for him, it would look so bad because they would – just keep calling him Hitler, saying he's getting rid of all of his competition. Yeah. But Pompeo says he's going to release Clinton's 33,000 emails. I think they're out. That's amazing. Well, I mean, if he, if Biden wins, you're looking at more of the same. You're yeah. looking at another however long they want to do this until— New sick war, maybe. That They're talking about that global reset, dude. And if they try to put this in effect— We'll be we'll be surfs on the land again. Yeah, and like Baden called that a couple years ago. Yeah, it is insane because like when you watch those fucking debates, they're like, "You said you're gonna raise taxes," and they're like, "Nah, no, we didn't." It's like, dude, yes, you did. Like, what do you mean? No, nah, I wouldn't even watch them. I mean, they're not worth. None of this stuff is worth paying attention to. You're getting fucking. This is like, doo 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 doo. Look at this. Look at this. It's yeah. Like, meanwhile, you're hearing them talk about more lockdown, global reset. Yeah. And they're not talking about that. That's not on the debate. 
Yeah, they. You know that, they, that's it, what's really going on right now. It's wild though because they bring it up. They're just like, I'm not going to answer that because that's all anyone would talk about if I answered. It's like, yeah. No, that's about the court. It's fucking insane. Yeah, that's not about the global reset though. But I'm saying like any like hard question, it's just like yeah, no, no one answers shit. So like you're right when it's like you shouldn't even watch it because no one answers anything. Yeah, the corporate media is being real quiet about global moves right now. Yeah. And it's fucking scary because, you know, yeah, we're, I mean, we're stuck here like little fucking ants. Yeah. And meanwhile, they got the ants fighting, uh, like ants are fighting each other. Yeah. Uh, hey, man, let me go to work. Let me not wear a mask. I can't fucking breathe with one of those things on. No. I'm a real active dude, man. I don't want to go to work and, like, have to wear a fucking mask in people's houses and shit. Fuck that. It blows. Like, seeing the people that have to do this shit every day just because, like, yeah, like nurses it's their and job, shit. like that Fuck, shit dude. Blows, yeah, it blows, dude. And it, it is just, it's just confusing shit because at the end of the day, like literally no one ever gave a fuck. Don't give a fuck about the poor and the sick and the elderly before ever. Yeah. Like called that from the gate. Like called that the second that this shit started. Since when have they cared? Yeah. So they, And then you got fucking Cuomo and Wolf putting people in nursing homes that test positive for COVID. All right, so if it is some fucking weird disease that you don't know about, that you're so afraid of, why the fuck would you put it near the most sickly people on the planet? Yeah. Oh, and then you hear about incentivized numbers. Yeah. Incentivized, if you get deaths, like blah, blah, blah. They were predicting 15 million deaths on the low end. That was the low end prediction. Yeah. Those graphs were trash. They missed it by a whole lot, man. (laughs) So it's like when they're like, I believe in science and they're put, putting their feet in the mud and being like, this is me. This is my identity. I believe in these guys. It's like, yeah. you believe in some dudes that have been fucking bigly wrong. Yeah. And it's been costing 34% of the country their mental health. I tried to read an article on about 100 million people have been thrown into poverty over this in the yes. world. Easily. And it's on the Wall Street Journal, but I don't have it. I don't know anybody that has it. So I can't read the fucking article. <laughs> yeah, but it, it, if you do think about that, <laughs> get like, rid of the paywalls, man. I'm trying to get edu- educated. <laughs> yeah, you, you have people like Lamar and them going like, "Oh, well, I got fucking ten grand." It's like, yeah, well, there's some people who aren't tied in with the fucking system that were just operating in their daily life, getting like day by day, like yeah, pay and day, all stuff. day laborers and Mexicans and minorities Those people get crushed. Yeah, I mean, for the most part, people that are first generations, most a ton of the immigrants. Yeah. You know, that none of those motherfuckers have any protection over this stuff. Yeah, you're getting destroyed. And that all that does is, like you are saying, fuck with mental health and increase the crime rate. Oh, yeah. Crime rate's the first thing. You're just selling. If that's the case and I'm, like, fucked, I'm just selling drugs. Yeah. I mean, relative poverty is the reason that there's drug sales. Yeah. Because everyone, that's the only way that they know how to win. Yeah, I mean, it, it almost seems like this was just a huge fucking trap. It's either that or, like, a series of co- coincidence fuck-ups, like, coincidental fuck-ups. And it's like, if that's the case, dude, like, I'll give it to you if that happened. But I don't know. I don't care enough about what I mean, happened. they're planning, like, 100. Like, obviously, like, that could be a thing. But yeah, if you're planning 300 years ahead, you're not fucked they've, up like this. They've been having way too many wins. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, they've done way too many of these uh, – Operation Northwoods, Operation Mockingbird. Like, they yeah. they have these things where you see that they planned it and it happened. Yeah. Like, planes hit the Twin Towers. <laughs> that, that wasn't the first. They drew up that plan in the 60s. Yeah, I you know. You know what I mean? Like. It, yeah, it, it is like. It, it, at, the, at, the, at this point. To argue, I just I'm done arguing with people. No, you're not. You gotta do it every day. <laughs> no, no, no. I I chilled out like every day, dude. I people they'll they'll talk about like, well, if you get it now, like this and this is gonna happen. I'm just like, whatever, dude. Talk I mean, about. for a guy that just drives a truck, like it doesn't affect you. No, you're. This is all your interaction with the phone. Oh, I know it doesn't yeah. affect me. It just it's annoying that like other that's like when people are getting like fucking into poverty and mental health and you see this and like everything was going good. Oh, everything was no never better. And then you I mean, just dude, there someone did a poll and they're like still think they still think even with the pandemic that they are better off now than they were four years ago. Because Trump's out there polling people. Yeah, dude. And people are like, Oh dude, even with the pandemic, they're like, Oh yeah, we're definitely better off. Unemployment is at the same fucking rate it was when Obama got reelected. That's crazy. That's insane. 
and make it make it great, great again. <laughs> Let's get it. That's what I'm saying. Like, dude, I don't care who it is. As long as the economy is doing good and like the, everyone spurgs about that. Like all he cares about is the economy. It's like, dude, when the economy is doing good, think about the nineties. Everyone's kind of fucking happy. Yeah, I mean, dude, for people like me, it doesn't matter who the president is yeah. for the most part unless there's this shit going on. Yeah. When you're like, okay, now it matters. Yeah, that's what, like, you know? like I could give most a fuck less. Most of the less. time, like, that, that's what I'm saying. Before, no one cared that we didn't have an economic lockdown. We didn't have all these safety nets for health, mm -hmm. but we were also fighting fucking six wars. Yeah. No one cared. And it's like, now we're not fighting wars. The dude's trying to pull back out of Afghanistan. This dude's going against, like, what America and the military-industrial complex normally want And he calls out the military-industrial complex. Calls them out and Big Pharma. Yeah. So he's talking, about, he's talking about kneecapping Big Pharma by making all their pills not worth a million dollars anymore. Yeah. And this is what you're seeing. This is how you get killed. Dude. Trump about, beat astrology. Trump, uh, for, not yet, dude. What do you mean? I mean. I thought that was nah. supposed to happen. No. Nah. Oh, wow. Still Fuck. time? Fuck. Yeah, dude. Don't even jinx it. Jesus Salt Christ, man. Prayers, you're, you're a dark la la, dude. <laughs> you're wish. a Scorpione, man. You wish, dude. Yeah, I mean, the, it, it is weird how much, like, it, pretty much social media kind of was, like, the accelerant to everyone freaking out about sides and stuff like that. Because, like, at the end of the day, dude, I'm ready to vote for my big Tulsi Gabbard when she's ready, dude. Just get elected. I'll vote for you. Yeah, it's kind of weird. It's almost like they rolled out social media, and they were like, like once the once all the fucking fish took the bait. Yeah, and they're like, oh yeah, but you guys didn't even know what Release this was. Release the boomers. <laughs> <laughs> this wasn't even. You didn't even know what this was for. Yeah, and then they're like, everybody's got different bait. You know what I mean? Dude, the wild shit was when it was Trump versus Hillary in 2016. If you went online then, there was just like nonstop videos of like nuclear, nonstop articles about nuclear war with Russia getting like thrown at you every fucking day. I don't like, remember any of this. Oh, if they get, if Trump gets elected, we're going to nuclear war. Like it was like. I don't think I had the, did I have an internet phone then? I might have just got the internet phone. No, you had the internet phone in 2016? 2015 or 2016, man. You definitely did. Me? I think so. No, nah, that's what I'm saying. It was probably like right, right 2015 probably, 2014, 2015 maybe. Right before it. Yeah, I, right before Because yeah. when I was painting with you, you had a fucking internet phone. I had a commando. That thing was sick. Yeah. Yeah, but, like, the shit was pretty bad then. And even then, like, I was just like, all right, this is just kind of weird. But, like, at this point, dude, with, like, the paid fucking, like, everything's an ad online and stuff, like, you're just getting, like, crushed by this stuff. Yeah, they really, they got you down on a team, man. You're fucked now. You're, yeah. you're like, if you're in that, the only way to break away from it is to break away from that and make it really hard for them to understand what the fuck you are. If they stop fit being able to figure you out. Yeah. If you hit them with the, like you say, the confusion. Yeah. Like, that's the, that's your only weapon. Yeah. That would be real nice if someone could come out with a phone that, like, obviously you could just do it with an iPhone, but without all the weird tracking shit, that was just... Phone, text, GPS, and music app. Yeah, GPS is what's killing you there. Yeah, that's it. That would be so nice. If that was a phone, dude, I would buy it in a fucking heartbeat. It doesn't matter. Like, they're going to, no matter what. I'm not, saying if a good old boy made a phone. Not some, like, like weird company that, like, wants to track you and shit. Yeah, there's just too much money in it. Yeah. It is very fucking annoying. They though. incentivize surveillance. And then, in, unless we figure out a way that, like, there's the people that want to get paid, but... Speaking of your bay, Tulsi's trying to make social media illegal. Yeah, her and uh, what's her name, Ron Paul, aren't they trying to? Uh, they're stop. They're trying to stop making it like so. Uh, yeah. What the fuck was it? They're gonna try to turn it into like what it was said sold as. The normal shit. Yeah, it was just sold as like here's a photo album. Yeah. Here's your friends. You that, know what I mean? Not like weaponized propaganda. <laughs> yeah. They not. they weaponized propaganda in 2012 against the U.S. When? Obama passed a law saying that it was allowed to be used here on U.S. soil, and it never before you were allowed to. And if you look back in time, it's like, all right, 2012, and slowly it's like, yeah, you know, that's, that's what, what I was saying. Once we got to like 2016, it was like already like, holy fuck. Yeah. And now it's just like, not only is it the social media, it's just everything. Like everywhere you look, every fucking commercial, every show, that's all it is. 
You don't, yeah. So I would, I would like to figure out in about you. 10 years what the name of that operation was because they did it. <laughs> yeah, I think it's just a natural course of the events of the capital, like surveillance capitalism is what it's called. So it's like they're trying to maximize the prices for their stockholders. Yeah. And they can sell data. And there's no, they, and then they lobbied to get it so that that's legal. And since like 90 fucking eight or something, there's been no pushback on them becoming super giant companies. That's the major problem. Yeah. Is that all the companies are fucking monopolies. Apple's a fucking monopoly. That not that what they just had the hearings about? That was fucking bullshit. I know it was bullshit, but like, yeah. wasn't that like. That was like, oh, reason. dude, like, we are not. You guys totally have to stop this. Yeah, that's all that was, man. Yeah. It, it is crazy, like, how bad they just bodied everyone, especially with the shutdown. Like, now those companies just bodied everyone. Like, there's no competition, like, trying to get anything. There hasn't been for 20 years. It's Google, Apple, who else? I mean, you start naming some companies, Facebook, yeah. They're all they Zuckerberg. Buy all. <laughs> oh, dude, what was that shit you were saying about California being owned by four people? Oh yeah, I saw that on uh, one of the sub one of the subreddits, like the conspiracy things I look at. It's like the Pelosi's, the Newsoms, the Browns. I can't remember, but when when they show it, it's like holy shit! It's been like they've been passing back and forth power in California for like generations. Yeah, I mean, it seems like after watching True Detective season three, dude, it seems like that's what California is. Season two, right? Yeah, 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 season, yeah two. season two. That just seems like what it is because if you go over there, it's literally just drugs, sex trafficking, weird Hollywood. I only went there one time. Yeah, I don't know. Was it weird? I mean, I thought it was weird, but I was retarded. I was twenty two. <laughs> I don't. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know anything. Yeah, it, it is crazy. Like. Especially with like the whole tax return shit and stuff, like the fact that they're saying this and no one's just like, "What about your guys' tax return? Like, how the fuck are you? Like, everyone's loaded." Yeah, you, uh, are you talking about the politicians and stuff? Yeah, it's just like, how the fuck are we throwing stones here? Oh man, I really got to get you a new internet hole to get into. Why? Just get you like something that's not the the fucking politics stuff, man. Oh yeah, like get like get into some. I mean, dude, this definitely this shit is like brutal. But yeah. I mean, if you just get, if you are doing this all the time, oh yeah, this is not good. Yeah, that's why now, you're gonna need a lot more than like how to play this guitar lick to get out of that. You oh, know what I mean? Yeah, I know. I mean, I pretty much just have to stop doing it and do what you're saying, getting the books because you, I can't like get into a new thing right now, especially at this point on the internet. My shit's fucked. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, so you're addicted to the opening of the apps, right? And then. When you open it up, you're going through like you're doing like a possum trail. Yeah. And this is they've tied this to your I think it's like, you know, whatever, happy serotonin, whatever the fuck that shit is. Yeah. So they've got you on like a little possum trail. Like when you grab your phone, there's something that your thumb does and you're addicted to it. Yeah. And like you're looking at it and you're like, Oh yeah, 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 fucking Trump. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're looking <laughs> at all this stuff and you don't even realize it. Yeah. And They've got everybody doing that to the point where, like, they know when I grab my phone, it's like, oh, yeah, yeah, ancient civilizations, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like the same shit. I'm not, like, sitting like something's wrong with yeah. you. But, you know, the problem is, like, the shit that you're looking at is real weaponized, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. That, Tartaria, not so much. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> after watching that Rogan, I definitely want to look into, like, the ancient civilization shit like that. But I pretty much – I think I'm just going to have to go to books because yeah, books and movies are cool. Yeah. You know, they're not all they're not all trash. Yeah. You know, especially the I'm pumped ones. for the new Dune. It's going to be the shit probably. Is Dune the shit with the worms coming out of the sand? Yeah. <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> the old ones fucking the old ones weird cuz I lot remember of watching I was young as shit. Old, that scared the fu I couldn't go on the beach when I watched that. Yeah, if you're real young, I don't know. Oh yeah, when I was making the intro, I was like I was going to make it scary. Uh, put the Jabberwocky in there because if you're my age, dude, the Jabberwocky was the scariest fucking thing Why? ever, dude. Why? <laughs> so they came out, PBS came out with Alice in Wonderland. And back when I was a kid, there wasn't like now. Yeah. There was fucking five channels. Mm. Like no one had cable. <laughs> Screw the cable in the back of the TV. Oh, no. this is, We had antennas, dude. Oh, Jesus fucking Yeah, Christ. we had 3, 6, 10, 12, 29, 50, 57, 54. That was it. 
48. We got 48 for a while. That was fucking was swag. 48? 48 was like a beat PBS. It was a beat 12. It was a beat PBS. What was on it? It was like the, probably Delaware's version of PBS or something. Mm. But anyway, Alice in Wonder. They made an Alice in Wonderland, and it was a mini series, so it was like multiple hours. Oh, and, so they hold a whole episode on the Jabberwockies? Oh no, the Jabberwocky happens, and it's like, dude, it's fucking so scary. This fucking <laughs> dragon comes out, and all the lights get all Is dark. Is it a cartoon? No, it's real life. Dude. Holy! But fuck. when if you were, I was three when it came out, so I was probably about like four or five watching it on a rerun. Yeah. And like, it's fucking this. It was the shit that would make you shut the TV off and run away. Thriller did that for me. Thriller. The music video. Oh, really? Oh, dude. I watched, like, Matt and all them were watching it one time. It was, like, Matt, Kevin, all them just, like, watching the Thriller music video. And this was, like, 8 o'clock at night. No time for scary shit. And Fuck, I, dude. I was watching it, like, this song's kind of good. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's got that toe tap. Yeah, he's going to, oh, he's going to the movies. That's sweet. Oh, fuck. What happened to his face? I was literally in my room <laughs> screaming the whole time, like all night long, just like, fuck. <laughs> I thought Michael Jackson and the boys were going to come and get me. Yeah, dude. There's, <laughs> there's shit. There's certain shit from when I was a kid that was so scary. Like Alice in Wonderland's Jabberwocky and Wizard of Oz, once that show gets dark, once there's the monkeys and the witch. Yeah, that show never fucked me up. I would watch that and I'd be like, that was the end of the movie for me. I would watch the whole beginning of the movie. And turn it off. Everybody teaming up, and it's like, eh, we're going to Oz. And as soon as they start Don't heading. Don't you know light wins? Dude, as soon as they start heading to Oz, I'm like, all right, cool. Boom. Oh, my fucking God. Yeah, I don't think I've ever finished it. Are you fucking kidding me? Fuck that movie, dude. Yeah, there there was. I would get jammed. Yeah, I would get jammed at um, the fucking Discovery Channel shit. When they had all those, like, weird, like, Re like uh, dramatizations of like exorcisms and shit. I would uh, be watching Discovery Channel and like I'd just be downstairs with everyone else and they were watching it and I would just sit there like, oh, fuck, 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 fuck. And like it jammed me up for like six years, dude. Yeah. I never got into watching that stuff, but yeah, that would jam me up. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> there was shit where it was like. Like the, paranormal? All the shit? Yeah. Like, yeah, nah. Fuck that shit. I thought it was cool because at one time, like, VH1 and... Remember when, like, VH1 and MTV had, like... They were the shit. Like, they had all, both had all the shows. Yeah, dude, they were the shit. <laughs> yeah. They had a show where, like, they would, like, go into, like, haunted houses and stuff and, like, insane asylums. And I would I would get done those shows, like, cool, that was celebrities in there. That was so funny. And then, like, I would go down... I would just... I went for, I think, two years, just blanket over my head, go to sleep. How old were you? I was like, fuck, like 12, 13. Damn, dude. I wasn't trying to. I hated the paranormal shit. Yeah, I never I never watched it. I mean, the first thing that got me with that was the exorcism of Emily Rose. Yeah, I and know. I watched that by myself as a, in my 20s, and it scared the shit out That's of me. That's insane. Yeah. I wouldn't do that right now. I didn't know what I was really getting into. You know what I mean? Yeah, that that's that's what I'm saying. That like, was you, like a level up. You got to understand, like the exorcist is cheesy. Yeah, yeah. Like all that shit is beat. And then that movie, that girl walks upside down. Like that's I remember fucking the terrifying. Commercials. Dude, I man. remember the commercials and every time. And it's based on a true story, so oh. you're even more fucked up. You yeah, know I, mean? I, uh, I actually, I think I watched a video on that. Like I read the real backstory to that dude, and it is fucked up. The chick was starving and shit. Yeah, she yeah. was just really sick, and their parents were like really into like Catholicism. They're like, dude, you when my mom was her. dying, we had Padre Pio's gloves come over. Yeah. All that shit, praying. And dude, recently I got into Our Lady of Fatima, and I'm gonna get into that because that shit was fucking wild, dude. What do you mean? You gotta get into this, man. Fucking Our Lady of Fatima was when the girls said that they saw Mary, right? Do you remember this? At the water? No, uh, they're up on a hill, I think, when this one. But okay. anyway, the thing with Our Lady of Fatima is these little girls say that they're talking to Mary, then they go back to the town, they tell everybody like, "Yo." We're talking to fucking Mary. Yeah. 10,000 people go to see it, and they see it was a mass hallucination of 10,000 people. And the church calls it a miracle. They had three predictions, and the first two came true. And the third one, the church kept a secret, and they don't want to release it, or maybe they did. I can't remember. What the fuck? I'm telling you, dude, this shit is wild. I'm not, you know, I'm no... I, this is just some shit I was just, like, got into recently. Yeah. But... Night turned to day. Like, it was nuts, dude. I'm saying, like, legit 
UFO level mass hallucination. Yeah, yeah. Who the fuck knows what really happened? Like it was like a mass tripping. Like I've been talking to, I've been talking to you for like two days about tripping balls. Yeah. In a cathedral. Yeah. Like trying to figure out what the fuck everybody was up to. Yeah. And it's like this is all coming from the the Our Lady Our Lady of Fatima stuff. There was warnings about the world the fir- the world wars. From that? From that. Holy fucking shit. What what year was that? Nineteen fourteen, I think, or nineteen it's early nineteen hundreds. That is fucking nuts. Maybe nineteen eleven or something like that. Yeah, all, all those like stories of like Our Lady. What's the one in the fucking water, dude? Our Lady of Lords. Our Lady of Lords. That is wild. Like the people Saint that Bernadette, went there, and, like the shit healed. just like yeah, the shit just like reverses. Yeah, they do. When my mom was dying, we had um, gallons of holy water in our garage. We tried everything. Yeah. So I mean, I understand the exorcism, folks. Yeah. You're just it, like, all right, yo. The what's up? the weird shit. I fucking it was. I watched it so long ago, but the priest and someone else in the house were like tied up and they were just like yeah dude just keep on doing this shit and like they were in it together to like make money off the exorcism and shit like that but i mean dude when i went to high school the exorcist for the archdiocese was our religion teacher and he was our rugby coach he's like he said they're real oh yeah that's i mean they're fucking real the demons are real guys we're in a spiritual war (laughs) <laughs> yeah, that's a, fucking shit is real we, we had one of those at sally's and this dude like he was an intense looking guy i think it was muck luck or something like that dude he would just stare if you said like father exorcism's real he'd be like sit down boys I'm that must be so this. nice to fuck with people though on that level oh they would fuck with him like, con- like yeah. they would say father uh i can't stop jerking off what should i do and he'd be like well and just never crack answer shit completely serious well no our guy would fuck with us would sigh up us no, that's like our, cool. our priest was cool how old was he probably like 40s oh yeah this yeah. dude was like 70 or 80 years old i'm telling you dude like if you can get into this um our lady of fatima thing first of all very cool distraction from fucking trump and all that weird shit yeah definitely and the coronavirus but the how 10,000 people like have a vision together yeah that is fucking nuts dude and like i'm telling you there's something with the psychedelics the position of the stars the building of the cathedrals i think that they were tuning forks for the human body and the mind definitely i'm telling you dude i'm, I'm telling you like they had they were performing mass hallucinations they were doing something. It was like a ritual thing because, and I don't know if it's a good thing or if it's a bad thing. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like this is when you get into. If you go into those old ones, if you're fucked up on mushrooms and you're in there, it's insane. Well, like the the chants, we laugh at them. We're like, "What the fuck is this? Yeah. This makes no sense." But it's like, dude, if you are tripping your balls off on some weird Gregorian who the chant, fuck knows <laughs> shit, dude. They were doing these um. They were doing like the holidays, and the holidays are around the solstices, and these things are built with like light to be shined through glass. Yeah, I'd love to see what they shit. look like on solstices. Oh yeah, you know what I mean. That's what one thing that really fucked me up, dude. It had nothing to do with psychedelics, but I used to have a dream when I was real little. Like you know, St. Thomas has that huge fucking stained glass circle. Yes, dude. I I dreamed like five times that I was walking down the aisle there. And a burst of light came through and just fucked me what up the like five fuck, times. Dude? Like I, that thing got real fucking big and glowing, and then just blew me the fuck away. Sick ass dream, bro. Yeah, I, that was like grade school shit. Pretty cool dream though. I, well, I got fucking sleep paralysis and all that weird shit, dude. Oh yeah, I don't get any of that. I I get jammed from fucking dreams. But like you know, they say that we went into the dark ages after. So the Holy Roman Empire comes around. They take over the. They take over everything, basically. Yeah. Like they go, okay. The Roman Empire is like, oh yeah, we're Christians now. Yeah. And then everything just gets fucking totally rewritten. Who the fuck knows what the early Christianity was? Yeah. And they end up through air quotes dark ages, and then they build these cathedrals that I don't think you could convince someone into doing like a three generation building project right now. Fuck. You know what I mean? Like imagine getting the funding and like a whole. We're talking whole, like whatever you want to call them countries cultures yeah. everyone's on this team everyone's behind building they have that this one thing. in spain that's been going on forever right what do you mean there's a cathedral in spain that's like i think over 100 years in the making of being built oh i didn't know this i'll show you the pictures when we go to the patreon it's wild well i'm saying like 
they they started these things. Guys started the building those things. They knew they would be dead. Yeah. And everyone knew it was important to do. And you're telling me it was all because of like Jesus and the priests and like you don't even know what the priest is saying. Yeah. But the whole culture's behind it. No, man. These guys did Christmas. They did it up. They did it with fucking mushies. Yeah. They I mean, went in. I'm, I'm with you on the heroes. Though, so I'll fucking, I will do that in a heartbeat. I'm telling you, man, I really think that people were way different and we're being lied to about our history. Yeah, obviously. That's what I think. I just, cause these things are too majestic to just be like corruption, money, corruption, like yeah. the church, the way that they paint the picture of it. Cause when shit's, when shit's getting built through corruption, it's trash. Like when like, you're not doing it for three generations, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. Like it's tough to oppress people. I don't care. You're not killing the human spirit like that. Not yeah. over multiple generations, even in fucking 500 AD, whatever. Yeah. You're, you can't tell me that the same guys that carved the Hellen Hellenic fucking Greek uh, statues, like those guys were free. Yeah, you know what I mean. You can't tell me that like, you know, 400 years later, everyone's just like these weird farmers that can't read, but yeah. somehow they can build these archways and all this crazy shit that we can't build today. Yeah. You couldn't get people to do it out of stone today. Yeah. I don't think they could, I don't think you could get someone to build our city hall today out of stone. That would be insane. I don't think you could do it. Yeah. It, it is wild. Like I, I think we were talking about that the other day, like how shit could have just been where it is now. Maybe not with like the same stuff, but like you were saying, if like, Shit hit the fan. Everything that's metal is getting melted down for bullets. Yeah. And everything's just getting wiped the fuck out. And every every year that goes by and more archaeology gets dug up, history changes. And you yeah. find out everything gets pushed back. Oh, wow, we were here 100 years earlier than we thought. Yeah. Oh, wow, like the Native Americans said those mounds were already here. There was a, <laughs> no, there was a massive civilization in America. Was that civilization Atlantis? Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. We'll go to the page.